think Michael is going to be in a difficult situation now just um in the next couple of weeks, really, because obviously there's a lot of question marks on what he's going to do next, and, and I'm sure he's going to have question marks himself, but it's a very difficult and challenging time for him to, to be going through mentally now, um, leading up to Christmas and stuff like that. It's, it's going to be difficult for him, but I know the right thing to say to him is, look, look what you've done in your career, look what you've achieved, but he's not going to be able to look at that right now. It's still a too, the, the, the wound is still too fresh right now for him. But look, we seen, we seen in that last fight that he went in against Jordan Gill, who a lot of people underestimated massively. Like Michael was a massive favorite with the bookies. He was a massive favorite with anybody that you spoke to. Um, But we have to understand that Michael came off a heavy defeat in his last fight. He changed trainer, went over to Miami to Dr. Diaz over there, uh, Pedro Diaz. So it was it was a massive change for him. And and then coming back into the the same arena, the same environment that that he got knocked out in the last time, that's a that's a very, very difficult thing to do for him. And and on such a massive platform, he was on the matchroom card. I think that was one of his big fights now with Matrim as well and a, a a big possibility of big things moving forward. So, you know, looking outside of the fight, there was a lot of things going on there as well that, that could have upset Michael and, you know, thrown him off his game. But, you know, we can't take anything away from Jordan Gill. Like, Jordan Gill is a former European champion, the EBU European champion, which is the, the cream of the cream in European boxing. Like, and... You know, he put himself right in line again now for a world title. So we have to kind of look at, I think a lot of people were, were thinking that this was just a comeback fight for Michael, like it was, you know, a walk in the park for him, but which it wasn't. This was a massive fight as well and a very difficult one for him to come back in. But I did also see in the first round, you know, in that fight, Michael was up on his toes. He was moving a lot, and and that is the new, the new, uh, the new training style of of his coach in Miami. And you know, he's a he's an outright boxing coach. You know, which Michael is fantastic at, one of the best to ever do it. You know, coming out of Ireland, and he proved that in his amateur game. But I remember one of the first trips I was on the the national team and. Michael had just come on the national team. I'd been on it maybe a year, two years. And we were at the, the GB tournament in Finland fighting uh, fighting for Ireland. And I remember, you know, Michael came away with the the best boxer of the tournament. Like, you know, in his first in his first real international tournament. And and that showed the the capability and the skill and the talent that he had. And that is what he has. You know, Michael is a phenomenal talent, very, very skillful. Just whenever you come into the professional game, that sometimes doesn't cut it. And it's we've seen it over and over again with 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 amateur fighters coming through, and it's just a different ball game. It's like the thing that I like to explain it is, you know, amateur boxing is like a hundred meter sprint, whereas professional boxing is like a marathon. You know, they're two completely different. It's still running. It's still boxing. But they're two real different kind of sports and preparation and mindset and everything. But look, it was a very difficult night for Michael. He is a phenomenal talent. But there is a lot more to boxing. There's a lot more to life than boxing. And I think Michael, you know, has to really ask himself the hard questions now. Um, is he is he getting put over with shots now that maybe he wouldn't have got put over with in early in his career as his punch resistance starting to go? Um, these are just questions that Michael need to ask himself, and only he will know it. We can see what we see, but is Jordan Gill a much harder puncher at the weight that he's at? I know the Lopez guy that beat Michael is an absolute monster of a puncher. Like, it's not as if he's getting knocked out by guys that, you know, are, are pillow hands, you know what I mean? But Jordan Gill isn't known to be a puncher, but since he's moved up in the weight, maybe he has brought a bit of power up with him. 
And there's a lot more to life than boxing. Michael has a lovely family, has lovely people around him. And, you know, he's a great, he's a great life going for himself. You know, he's a lot going on outside of boxing as well. It's not just boxing isn't the be all and end all, but, you know, I think it's it's definitely going to be a difficult time, you know, for Michael now. But there's there's no better man than Michael to to make the decisions now and to ask himself the hard questions.